guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. Uh, so this is going to be for May the 31st until June the 8th, 2018. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to be using a new deck I just picked up called Romance Angels Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue. So it's been giving me a lot of strong, beautiful messages. Um, one of the main messages that were coming out is that there's still a lot of love for one another. Um, that love is undying. And there's re reaffirmations. A lot of, um, you know, awakening in terms of that loving connection and how undying it is. It, the longevity um, of it is undeniable. And that's what a true twin flame connection is about. So let me pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. So I don't want to overdo it with these cards. Um, I think I'll use another deck. So for the extended reading, I'm going to be doing some reading and also pulling uh, three additional cards per position. Let's see, what should I use? Um, I think I'll just use my cards. Whoa. I'm just going to flip them over and look through them because I saw the 1111 card there. So, um, deception, crossroads, the 1111, um, questioning whether or not uh, this connection is real or not. The masculine um, is at a crossroads, he needs to make a decision, take action. And I just finished doing an energy reading for June. Um, and that's exactly what I was seeing. You know, there's this realization of the twin flame connection, the masculine, I think is really awakening to it, awakening to the love. Um, the feminine needs to do the same. She's questioning the connection, wondering if it's real or not. So I'm going to keep that as an overall energy for the reading. Um, let me just get rid of this candle. Okay, so let me finish shuffling. Okay, so beginning with the feminine side, I just want to make sure all the cards are on camera here. Okay, so beginning with the feminine side, in the past, attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Uh, so this is all about the law of attraction. You know, it's about self-love. Um, when you're exuding positive energy, then that you attract that energy back to you. So the feminine um, has really been in the moment, in the now, um, really savoring in the pleasures, you know, the simple pleasures of life, taking it all in. And, you know, in the energy reading, I was seeing that the feminine, um, you know, needs to play a little. Um, 
maybe focusing a little bit too much on her job or what have you, but we don't really see that energy being reflected here. Here, uh, a strong sense of inner knowing and self-love, and that was actually part of the energy reading as well. All right, so for the masculine side, past, forgiving and learning. As you relief, release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay, so this was also a theme on the masculine side. There's this idea that he's been hurt before in the past and he doesn't want to repeat the same mistakes. But this card is all about forgiving that person, healing past wounds, letting go of anger, betrayal, you know, forgiveness is key. Present position for the feminine, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So the feminine um, desires to get away, to connect with the ma masculine, um, you know, be alone and deepen the bond that he feels or that she feels for him, you know, express her emotions, um, connect on a soul level. So the feminine is desiring to, yeah, be alone with the masculine. Get away for a little while. The energy is moving towards the masculine. This energy is facing towards the masculine. So the feminine is really in this whimsical energy for the next week. So keep that energy uplifted, right? The um, overarching theme was a higher vibration, being in passion, feeling passion, pursuing things that you feel passionate about. And that way you attract passion and romance into your life. So what is in the masculine's wow? present position is past life relationships you have known each other before so I say wow because this image continues to be repeated over and over again on the masculine side the past he's been hurt and now he's embracing the feminine and they're always in this stance the feminine is leaning into the masculine the masculine is um, you know embracing her and kissing her um, there's such a strong desire here. So there's a question being posed with this card. And again, we saw that in the energy reading. The masculine's realizing that this love, um, that he feels a lot of emotions, a lot of passion when it comes to her. And so this card is confirmation that, um, you know, that that love is reciprocated or felt on both sides. And it needs to be, it's unresolved business. It, there's something that keeps drawing the two together, right? Um, and so there, there is healing that needs to be done. Um, you know, there's also that, I, I didn't finish before, but there, there's this pet, question posed are they want the one you know and there's this feeling that they are the one you've known them before um, so it's worth it you know exploring that but I can't believe that image is showing up again on the masculine side beautiful uh, near future for the feminine chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so the feminine you are realizing um, that there is still deep feelings, a bond, a strong bond that you share with this person. This bond is unbroken and it is attracting you to the masculine and vice versa. Um, there's this desire to explore, you know, there's this mystical connection. Um, so the feminine I feel again is in this dreamy state her desire is starting to open up again her her sexual desires are starting to open up again 
the masculine near future. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, um, there is something stopping the masculine and he needs to deal with that in order to move forward. So this could be an addiction, self-limiting belief, codependent relationship or, you know, but there, it is an addiction. It's a chain. There is an unwillingness or a fear here to release this energy. Um, but that needs to be done in order to, for you to achieve freedom. So the codependency is standing in the way, right? Um, there's a strong desire to heal the past, to forgive, but there may be, he may be using this as a crux in a way. So let's see what the rest of the cards say. Um, okay, so let's leave the final outcome for later. Uh, we'll move into the union energy. So the feminine night of fire, this is, was the overall energy for June, directed energy towards your passion, pursuing the things that make you feel alive. Um, you know, and it's accelerated energy as well, seeing the finish line. So this is what she's bringing into the union. Um, now the energy is directed away. So I, you know, I really feel the feminine is starting to move into this vibration of chemistry and excitement and hopefulness, enthusiasm, optimism for the future. It, you're, it's, it's almost like she's floating on this whims whimsical boat, um, allowing it to draw her towards the masculine. She's feeling that attraction strongly. In the energy reading, she was closed off and cold, right? And this is what we want. We want her to feel that. So I feel this is an opening. You're taking the first steps toward healing this, this um, shield, this barrier that you've created. Okay, and so what is masculine bringing in? The Nine of Pentacles, readiness, independence, um, a desire to enjoy life, you know, enjoy the freedom of the financial freedom that abundance brings. Um, feeling stable, feeling like you've arrived, feeling it like you've made it. The foundation is solid and firm. You have enough coming in to look after your family and your needs. So he's bringing in this um, long-term stability. But this card is also about self-love, right? Um, the need to look after yourself. The need to put your desires, your needs first. Because if you're not happy, other people aren't going to be happy. At the foundation, we have the Nine of Swords, fear, worry, guilt, consumed by negative thoughts. But the Nine is um, nearing the completion, and since this is in the foundation, I feel that this has ended. That negative thinking that I mentioned earlier about the feminine being closed off, being cold, has shifted. Those thoughts are being released. There's a movement into this stillness and into this um, mystical energy. Vibrant, beautiful, positive energy. So it is a shared energy between the two aspects. So that's good. You know, over here we see this fear of being hurt again. And so that's released. Forgiveness as a foundation. You know, there's also this sense of longevity as well, right? This long-term goal, this sense of not going anywhere, you know, that you still desire each other, you still feel passion for one another. Um, but there are these issues that are holding both of you back from fully embracing the 1111 connection, but there's that awakening is happening right now. It's very strong. The connection is strong. 
So what is it as a crowning energy? Grand awakening. That's exactly what I was saying. Hearing the calling. Now, what's interesting is that in the energy reading for June, um, the overall energy card, there were two of them. One was calling your soulmate. Putting that vibration out into the universe. The second card was making an effort. Making a choice. Making a decision. Um, sh expressing your your emotions, your feelings, having um, honest conversations, not holding back, right? And the feminine feels that there's something being held back, right? And so, as a crowning energy, there's this desire to to hear that calling and embrace it fully, to make the changes that are required to create a life that you've always wanted to that you know involves your true love okay so what's at the heart the moon deception fear things that are unsaid things are being kept hidden now there the the full moon was last night right May the 29th was the full moon um, in Sagittarius so that makes sense that we have the moon coupled with that night of fire passion but healing wounds letting go of the past facing your fears conquering those fears as the night of fire pursuing the things that make you happy so come coming out of that darkness into the light is definitely a theme here but choices and actions are required All right, so let's put this up here a little higher so you can see. Um, so the final outcomes for the feminine. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so again, feeling like you're being deceived, feeling like somebody isn't telling you the entire truth, somebody's wearing a false mask, deception. So sometimes this speaks to a new relationship, right? You're falling too fast you um, you're blind to you're blinded by your emotions you're not paying attention to people's behaviors so I'm going to pull one additional card as a clarifier for that what do you mean by pay attention to the red flags as a final outcome Whoa. I'm just looking through this side of the reading to see if there is anything that would indicate that other than the blaring seven of swords up there pay attention why stop six of pentacles this is the reciprocation card sharing your energy your life your dreams your desires you know connecting um, helping, reaching out. So the feminine, you know, needs to stop being so guarded, needs to give her energy, share her love. When you give love, when you share of yourself, then abundance flows to you. But if you're always going to be stuck in this questioning the other person's motives, then you're creating that blockage. Blast out of that darkness. Right? You can create the reality that you desire, but you got to believe it. And so the final outcome for the masculine is romantic feelings. Oh my God, the exact same image, you guys. Here, you, the feminine, are wearing the same blue dress. In the other reading, the feminine was wearing a dress, but there was a red belt. So blue... Blue is um, Mother Mary, right? It's that purity, um, untouched. Um, you know, there's that spiritual connection there as well. But what I feel is, you know, in this card we see past life relationships. There's that passion is there. 
and it is not going anywhere as a final outcome that this these romantic feelings are they just pu push forth right there and it, there's like a a darkness about this card over here we see green we see growth we see, we see the garden of life taking in the fruit the fragrance of life right here we have the past um, darkness breaking through into the light into growth romantic feelings that's beautiful your feelings are real and worth exploring you know it's like I this person, I just can't stop thinking about this person. Um, I can't stop loving this person. When I don't have this person in my life, I feel empty. I feel numb. But in order for you to fully embrace a new relationship or fully embrace your twin flame relationship, addictions, codependent relationships, those all need to be resolved. And, you know, this card also talks about paying attention to those red flags. Somebody's behaviors, are they, you know, how do they treat other people? You know, that's their true face, right? So trust your instincts. You feel a vibration, you feel a chemistry. And you're looking at that light and you're considering whether or not you want to fully embrace it, right? So open yourself up. There is self-love here, no doubt about it. It's reflected in the energy reading as well. Okay, so let me pull two cards from... Um, let's use John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So romantic feelings. This is all about inspiring romantic feelings within yourself. Feeling, you know, you're the one that benefits from those feelings. You're the one that feels those feelings. And so, again, you are spreading that beautiful energy that... you know, highly pleasurable energy to other people. They feel that energy and they reflect it back to you. You know, that's a beautiful, positive vibration to be in rather than to numb your feelings through addiction. You know, um, ignoring your own needs. Um, you're only harming yourself. You're always going to be in this space this unsatisfied, unfulfilled space. Okay, so let me pick the card. So for the masculine first, take the lead. See? There, there's this definite feeling of wanting to reach out, wanting to embrace the feminine, to touch the light. So I'll read that, and then for the feminine... Wow, Divine, Divine Feminine, the Empress card. Yes. Very similar energy. You know, she is um, Mother Nature. She is all about manifestation, growth, nurturing the seed. Okay, so number three. They're both threes, actually. So um, the Empress card actually popped up first, ironically. So I think Spirit wants me to read this one first. Okay. So the key words are cherish, nourish, blossom, abundance, nature, creativity. The Nurture card reminds you to tend to the garden. The relationships must be nourished in order to thrive, yes, you must nurture these connections. I feel a lot of coldness over on the feminine side. Feel 
that passion, feel those desires, allow you to feel deep emotions. Um, so relationships must be nourished in order for them to thrive. Count the abundant blessings of the relationships you have. Find ways to let other people know that you care for them and appreciate them. Good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness. That's exactly what I was feeling. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, you, in order for you to be happy, you, you have to open up. You have to experience connections. Otherwise, you know, what is the purpose of life? It's to love. Um, good relationships can be taken to new levels, and that's what a twin flame connection is all about, right? You, you feel that void when they're gone, when you're together, that rush is back immediately, and it never changes. No matter how you change on the outside, that love is always there, and you, you know, it's, it, it constantly grows. Um, so good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness and faltering relationships can be revived with loving care and attention. Yes. So reviving, reigniting passion equally, be sure to tend to your relationships with yourself. Yes. Self love. And that's how you attract your twin back to you. Nurture your soul by giving, Ooh, hold on one minute. Wow, that went flying. Okay, so I was saying nurture your soul. So that's um, an important point, an accentuated point. Um, nurture your soul by giving yourself the grace to be who you really are and love yourself for it. Take a few moments every day to connect with the divine. Pull a card from the deck, meditate for five minutes, or simply have an attitude of gratitude. Nurture your mind by engaging in activities that stimulate and en engage. Use your creativity in some way every day. Everyone has the ability to be creative, whether you paint, write, cook, sew, sing, dance, li live. Take care of your body by maintaining your good health or by making it healthy. Relax in a bubble bath, enjoy a cup of tea, or take a long walk. Connecting with nature will soothe and nourish all aspects of yourself. Remember that nurturing yourself also raises your vibration and sends a signal of love into the universe. If you desire, the signal will be a beacon, right? That will bring a new and loving relationship to you. Yes, be the beacon. He sees you as the beacon, as the light. And it's like you both are reaching out to the light. You both feel each other's warmth. And so for the masculine, three of wands. So the key words are enthusiasm, initiative, grounding, creativity. Okay, so both cards are talking about creativity. And the energy uh, for June was the night of fire. And so again, that's pursuing things that you are passionate about, being creative, being in that vibration of creativity, being in um, the moment, being connected with your higher self, you know, very mystical energy. Um, so strong energies for success are all around you as new opportunities are opening up. Okay, there's that opening up energy again tap into this energy to fire up your relationship and bring you all that you desire regarding matters of the heart call down to the divine flame to ignite your passion ignite your passion that's what I actually um, um, titled for the um, what do I call that um, monthly energy forecast for June um, it seems like a really long title to me. Okay, anyways, um, so to ignite your passion and show you that the way to achieve your deepest wishes, don't wait for the other person to make a move. Take the initiative. Be bold. Again, um, make an effort. Calling your soulmate. Repeated theme. So the masculine is being asked to take the initiative. 
the feminine is asked to receive, right? The divine feminine is the receiver. The masculine is the one who, you know, the extroverted energy. Now is not the time for the status quo. Use this beautiful fire energy to explore new possibilities. How can you spice up your current relationship? How about learning a new skill with your friend or taking a family on a special vacation? If you're looking for a new relationship, um, think creatively and try new ways of meeting somebody. Step out of your comfort zone and be a little daring. Nice. Perfect. All right. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, and so I'm going to be diving deeper into each card. I'll probably be doing a little bit of reading and also pull three additional cards per position for the extended reading. So if you're a patron, um, you are able to see that reading um, through that site. The link is below. Um, I also release the extended readings um, through my website early, earlier than YouTube. Um, and also if you wanted to purchase the, the reading, you can go to my website as well. So that link is below. All right. Um, I'm sending massive love your way and, uh, yeah. Cheers.